Hi friends, most of you watch my channel without subscribing. Please subscribe if you like my stories. Have a good rest. My name is Jack and I'm a 38 year old investment banker living in Seattle. The best way to describe me is someone who loves deeply and tries to be a devoted, giving partner in relationships. Through two marriages, I've learned that being overly accommodating and letting your guard down with a spouse can lead to disrespect and contempt. I refuse to let that happen again. My first wife, Michelle, was an incredibly beautiful and seductive woman who made my world spin. I was madly in love with her during our five-year marriage and expected to spend my whole life with her. However, I eventually discovered she had multiple affairs behind my back, betraying me at a time when I was completely infatuated and trusting of her. The heartbreak and humiliation when I uncovered Michelle's infidelity took me over a year of intense counseling to recover from. I was utterly devastated. I never imagined she could be unfaithful despite my loving devotion. When her web of lies finally unraveled, I left Michelle and swore I'd never allow such deception again. After that painful experience, I realized trust would be a major issue for me entering any new relationship. I was wary of being hurt like that again. When I met Jenny, we were both upfront about our past relationship troubles from the start. Jenny had spent three years with her boyfriend Matt, who suddenly left her for a younger, prettier co-worker. She was absolutely devastated. Jenny's self-esteem took a major hit, and she fell into a depression, even needing psychiatric care. I don't think she ever fully healed from how callously Matt rejected her after she had invested so much in their relationship. His cold duplicity always bothered me. Meanwhile, Jenny knew all about my ex-wife Michelle's serial cheating and lies despite my steadfast loving devotion to her. I confided how Michelle's affairs had completely shattered my ability to trust women and left me riddled with confidence issues. It took me a long time to open my heart again after being so betrayed. Jenny and I bonded through supporting each other's healing and growth after our traumatic past relationships. I helped Jenny overcome her residual hurt and distrust of men, encouraging her to feel worthy of love again. With my constant reassurance, she transformed into a confident, vibrant woman again. In return, knowing my past trauma, Jenny put tremendous effort into proving her unwavering commitment and loyalty to me. She went above and beyond to show me I was her one and only love. She lavished me with verbal reminders of how incredibly lucky she felt to have met such a loving, devoted partner after her own heartbreak. Jenny ensured all my needs were met, that I always felt fulfilled in our relationship. We continued having passionate intimacy several times a week, regularly exchanging affectionate embraces and tender kisses. Our emotional and physical bond felt deeper than either of us had ever experienced before. After six wonderful years together, I truly believed I had found my soulmate and that life could not get any more perfect. Or at least, that's how I wholeheartedly felt at the time. However, one weekday around the time Jenny and I had celebrated our sixth anniversary, my perception of our blissful marriage came crashing down unexpectedly. I was working in the office that morning when I noticed Jenny dressed in a seductive ruby red cocktail dress and black stiletto heels. Her glamorous ensemble was complemented by intricately curled hair and fullest makeup. It struck me as quite unusual attire for a casual weekday morning lounging around the house. To clarify, I wasn't secretly watching my wife at the time. We have a home security system I can access remotely while traveling. I occasionally check the live camera feeds just to see our labradoodle puppy Yuna playing. It calms me down when I watch a dog act funny. That morning, when I logged into the app, I was puzzled to see Jenny dressed in such an extravagantly sexy outfit with her hair and makeup professionally styled. She looked elegant and sensual. The dress showcased every perfect curve. It had been ages since I'd seen her dolled up so exquisitely. Confusion and suspicion welled up inside me. I decided to casually call Jenny and ask about her surprising change of style for the day. Hey babe, just sitting here daydreaming about you. What's new? I asked in a cheerful tone. Oh, nothing too thrilling, just enjoying a peaceful morning to myself, Jenny replied amiably. I see, taking advantage of your day off for any fun activities. I fished for more details. 
Nope, with my regular tennis partner still on vacation. I've decided to simply relax and treat myself to a spa morning, Jenny responded smoothly. Her explanation perplexed me even more. Why dress for a gitsy gala just to lounge at home alone? Bummer about no tennis. Well, since you have free time, want to meet for a lunch date later. I can get away from the office for a bit. I offered, probing to see if she'd come clean about other plans. That's so thoughtful, but don't worry about me, babe. I'm actually not very hungry today. Just going to make myself a green smoothie here. Don't rush home. I know you have that huge deadline. Take your time at the office, love you. Jenny skillfully demurred. Her evasive answers heightened my suspicion that she wasn't being truthful. My intuition screamed something was very amiss. After exchanging hurried goodbyes, I immediately rushed to my car and raced straight home, fretting over what was actually going on with my dolled-up wife. When I arrived out front, Jenny's sleek BMW was nowhere to be seen in the driveway. She had clearly gone out somewhere dressed to impress. My pulse pounded with escalating alarm as I imagined where Jenny might have gone in that spectacular outfit, and more importantly, who she was meeting. My mind flashed through alarming hypothetical scenarios of her secretly rendezousing with another man. The thought she could be cheating and destroying our marriage made me sick with dread. With unsteady hands, I grabbed my phone and opened the app linked to the GPS tracker in Jenny's car, feeling ashamed to be spying on my own wife. But I had to know where she was headed dressed like that on a random weekday morning. I'd installed a GPS tracker in my wife's car, not to keep tabs on her, but because car thefts were on the rise in our neighborhood. The map showed her driving towards downtown Seattle. My legs shook as I got back in the car to discreetly follow the app's directions. About 15 anxiety-filled minutes later, I arrived downtown near Jenny's office. The GPS indicated she had parked in a nearby luxury high-rises underground garage. I quickly pulled over and waited nervously by the entrance, half praying I was overreacting. Shortly after, I spotted that striking red dress emerge as the elevator doors opened. Jenny walked with purpose down the sidewalk in her designer heels, oozing sensuality and confidence I hadn't seen in years. My worst fears were confirmed when I witnessed her breeze past me towards a trendy restaurant, waving and smiling evilly at a handsome stranger. He immediately pulled her into an intimate embrace, gazing ardently into her eyes for a moment before pressing his lips to hers in a passionate, lingering kiss. Jenny welcomed his brazen affection, throwing her arms around his strong shoulders and melting into his body as she returned the fiery kiss. One of his hands caressed her bare back suggestively as their mouths remained urgently locked together. After the steamy display, they slowly pulled apart, faces still just inches away from each other. You look absolutely ravishing, he murmured, clearly entranced by her sensual ensemble and alluring curves. Why, thank you, Jenny replied playfully. She bit her lower lip and giggled at his overt admiration. Looping her arm through his, they exchanged a few more whispered words that I could not hear, but which made Jenny laugh again in a flirtatious manner. The man then guided her towards the entrance, intimately pressing his hand to her lower back possessively. Jenny gazed up at him, eyes sparkling with infatuation, a radiant smile lighting up her face. As they reached the door, he paused to pull her into one last quick, passionate kiss, seeming unable to resist her beauty. Arm in arm, they strolled in sight together, the obvious intimacy and romantic chemistry between them apparent to anyone who witnessed their public displays of affection. Jenny was blatantly on an illicit date with this mystery man, throwing all caution to the wind. Tears of disbelief flooded my eyes, but were quickly subsumed by fury. My loving wife was blatantly on an illicit date with another man. Blinded by hurt and rage, I impulsively grabbed my phone and began snapping photos through the restaurant window, documenting Jenny's betrayal. Just then, the mystery man leaned in and again kissed Jenny with obvious intimacy. She welcomed his over-defection badly. Witnessing their passionate display completely shattered my already crumbling heart. Yet robotically, I continued photographing the evidence, feeling numb with shock. As a hostess began leading them towards a private table, the man's profile triggered a wave of enraged recognition. 
It was her ex-mat, the one who had dumped her so harshly years before. Uncontrollable anger surged through me. Jenny knew how deeply I despised that man for so damaging her self-worth in the past. I had expressly demanded she never contact Matt again after witnessing how emotionally broken she had been left. Yet here Jenny was, blatantly, on a romantic date with him, laughing, kissing, caressing. The obvious deception and public disrespect were salt in the wound. After callously discarding her previously, now Matt had managed to lure Jenny back as his adoring plaything. What further twisted betrayal was she capable of? The realization hit me like a punch to the gut. Jenny had clearly premeditated this forbidden romantic tryst. She had lied directly to my face on the phone, concocting an elaborate story about spending a quiet spa morning at home. But in reality, she intentionally deceived me to enable her secret date. I pictured Jenny earlier that morning, meticulously applying sultry makeup and styling her hair into perfect cascading curls. She must have selected that alluring curve having red dress from her closet, slithered into it, then stepped into the black stilettos to complete the breathtaking yet scandalous look. Jenny knew exactly how tantalizing she would appear dressed in such an extravagant, sensual fashion. It was undoubtedly done to entice and seduce her ex-lover Matt during their illicit reunion. Moreover, she had sneakily orchestrated this deceitful rendezvous behind my back, then bold-faced lied to hide her betrayal. Jenny clearly held no regard for our marriage vows or my unwavering love and trust in her. Witnessing her throw herself willingly into Matt's arms, kissing him with such fiery passion, was the ultimate personal violation. This was the same callous man who had dumped and shattered her in the past. Yet driven by lust and vanity, Jenny discarded any loyalty to me to reconnect with her old flame. In that moment, any remaining illusions about my wife crumbled. I saw clearly the manipulative, unfaithful woman she truly was behind the facade. The depth of her betrayal pierced my very soul. Utterly distraught and reeling from the shock, I stumbled back to my car in a daze. I sped hurriedly back to my office downtown, eyes blurring with tears, at a total loss for how to process Jenny's deceit and handle her unforgivable betrayal. My life as I knew it had just been irrevocably shattered. At the office, I sat stewing in anguished disbelief at my desk, overwhelmed by tidal waves of jealousy, hurt and fury. The vivid image of Jenny kissing her ex-lover replayed in my mind relentlessly. I felt shattered imagining their ongoing romantic tryst, despite her claims of hating him. After emotionally torturous hours imagining details of Jenny's lies and duplicity, I left work early unable to focus and headed home to confront her deceit. Part of me irrationally clung to a thread of hope it was all some huge misunderstanding. But my gut knew otherwise after witnessing their intimate exchanges firsthand. When I arrived home, lively classical music echoed from the kitchen mingling with the aroma of a gourmet meal cooking. To my disbelief, Jenny was casually sipping wine and tending to an elaborate dinner as if it was just another pleasant evening. Completely disconnected from the torrent date I had witnessed mere hours ago. Jenny cheerfully greeted me with a sunny smile and chirpy, Hi honey, you're home early. How was your day? She kissed my cheek affectionately, acting for all appearances like the doting wife. It was totally surreal and maddening after catching her cheating so badly earlier. We sat down to the extravagant three-course dinner she had meticulously prepared and styled, lobster bisque, pan-seared scallops, and tiramisu for dessert. As we ate, Jenny breezily recounted her usual mundane daily errands, getting her nails done, buying designer dresses, meeting a friend for yoga. She omitted not a hint of shame over her secret tryst. Meanwhile, I sat stewing, barely able to choke down the meal as my mind reeled trying to reconcile her nonchalant housewife facade with the torrid infidelity I had just witnessed. I waited for an opening to gently bring up what I knew, hopeful she would confess voluntarily and beg forgiveness. So tell me, how was your relaxing day off, sweetie? To anything exciting? I asked pointedly, searching Jenny's eyes for a reaction. But nothing too thrilling. I did a little shopping downtown, ran some errands, picked up ingredients for this yummy dinner. Just enjoying a low-key day to recharge. 
Jenny responded unfazed, while sipping her wine, gaze averted from mine. I took a deep breath to calm my surging anger. Are you absolutely sure nothing else eventful happened today that you want to tell me about, darling? Jenny's expression remained neutral and inscrutable. Nope, like I said, just a boring day catching up on chores. Nothing meant worthy. Her continued facade of ignorant innocence incensed me. With unsteady hands, I grabbed my phone and pulled up the most damning photo of Jenny kissing Matt passionately outside the restaurant. I turned the screen towards her. Well then, how exactly do you explain this, Jenny? A charming smile instantly faded, replaced by an expression of shock and alarm. She clearly never imagined I could have witnessed and documented her duplicity. Jenny looks anxious and worried. She nervously clenches her hands into fists as she tries to explain herself, stumbling half-heartedly. Her eyes widen and look pleadingly for understanding. When Jenny mentions Matt, she looks away briefly, unable to meet my gaze. Her shoulders tense, she leans slightly to the side, creating a physical distance between us. As Jenny tries to make excuses, her voice gets higher and faster, the words coming out in a rush. She emphasizes that the kiss was just an innocent greeting, downplaying its significance. When she claims that Matt just happened to be in town, she avoids looking me in the eye, realizing how implausible it sounds. Talking about a quick friendly lunch, Jenny makes vague hand gestures, offering no concrete details. She seems to be hiding something about the true nature of the meeting. Jenny's body language is withdrawn and defensive, arms crossed in front of her. She looks caught off guard, as she did not expect to have this conversation. One can sense Jenny's desperation as she tries to justify her choices, knowing full well that I am offended by her. Overall, Jenny's stuttering excuses and anxious body language suggest that she realizes she crossed a line by dating her ex Matt and is desperately trying to downplay the situation. Her vague explanations only add to her guilt. I cut her off mid-sentence, incensed by her continued downplaying of something so blatantly intimate. You really expect me to believe this, Jenny? This photo alone shows much more than an innocent kiss between simply friends. You lied to my face, snuck off to secretly meet your ex-lover, and were all over him in public, I retorted. Jenny's breath grew sharp and panicky. No, Jack, it was nothing like that. You have to trust me. We just got carried away for a moment for living old memories. I would never cheat on you. You're my whole world, she cried desperately. I could barely contain the volcanic rage bubbling up inside me as I confronted Jenny. Trust you. I scoffed, my voice dripping with scorn. My eyes don't lie. I saw its slinky dress, the furtive texts you deleted, your shady behavior tells me everything. I watched her face crumble, but felt no pity, only disgust. Did our sacred vows mean nothing to you? I demanded. She dissolved into sobs, choking out frantic apologies and pleas for forgiveness. But I didn't believe her excuses about a so-called reckless mistake. This was no mere lapse in judgment. It was a profound, unforgivable betrayal. The woman I trusted completely had betrayed me without care or remorse. She swore it wasn't an affair, that I'd heard enough lies already. Looking at her, I knew our relationship was damaged beyond repair. The Jenny I loved was gone, replaced by a selfish stranger who could desecrate our marriage so easily. In that moment, I resolved to call my attorney first thing to start divorce proceedings. I had to cut ties permanently with Jenny's toxicity. She had thrown away our beautiful life together on a cruel whim. Now she could lie in the bed she made with her scheming ex-lover. Our vows, our memories, our years together, they meant nothing to her. But I would start over and build a better life without her shadow darkening my door. In the agonizing weeks following Jenny's shocking betrayal, I weathered tidal waves of conflicting emotions, bitterness, regret, anger, sadness. The painful process of untangling from a six-year relationship and marriage weighed heavy on me, even despite her despicable actions. I constantly replayed with 2020's hindsight questionable instances that should have raised red flags, guarded phone activity, working late, waning intimacy. But blended by love and trust, I had ignored the subtle signals. 
Never did I imagine Jenny was capable of such calculated, heartless deception. She had seen my soulmate. We're supposed to be healing old wounds, not inflicting new ones. Meanwhile, Jenny sank into a dark depression when the initial adrenaline of her illicit reunion with Matt rapidly faded. She left me increasingly desperate voicemails pleading for a second chance, claiming she had made a tragic mistake in a moment of weakness. I did not return her calls. There was no turning back from the damage Jenny had inflicted by choice. True to reputation, word of Jenny's salacious affair with her ex circulated rapidly through our social circle once I made the divorce announcement. For years, she had carefully crafted her image as the ultimate caring, loyal partner, an antithesis to my vain, duplicitous ex-wife. Now Jenny's name had become forever tarnished by ugly infidelity. Having staked so much of her identity on appearances and status, Jenny seemed unable to handle the public humiliation. Old friends informed me she had become a depressed recluse, rarely leaving home, too ashamed to show her face. The mirror of virtue she had polished so diligently now reflected back a hypocrite. Meanwhile, her attempt to rewrite history and romanticize the past by reconnecting with Matt predictably unraveled as well. The fantasy swiftly collapsed when forced into reality. Matt had returned to his philandering ways once the chase ended, leaving Jenny heartbroken and used again. In an ironic way, the painful experiences that had first bonded Jenny and I so strongly had come full circle. Her nagging insecurities resurfaced as she spiraled into despair, and I faced again the harsh truth that I failed to recognize deceit behind pretty facades. For a time, our marriage had been a sanctuary for two battered souls. But the old wounds never fully healed as we believed. Some scars simply cut too deep. Update. Six months have passed since I uncovered Jenny's shocking betrayal. The searing pain has dulled to a persistent ache, but the scars remain. I've come to accept that the Jenny I loved was merely an illusion hiding a selfish and deceitful woman. The divorce was finalized last month. Jenny's infidelity made the legal process straightforward despite her protests. I feel only cold indifference towards her now, the love extinguished forever by her cruelty. We have not spoken in months. I've sold our marital home full of tainted memories and leased a sleek high-rise condo downtown with a view of the Space Needle. The fresh start has lifted my spirits. I've joined a boxing gym to channel my heart into strength and started training for my first marathon. Focusing on self-improvement has boosted my confidence. At work, I've thrown myself into securing major new client projects. Just yesterday, I landed a multi-million dollar deal that earned praise from the senior partners. My career is accelerating more rapidly than ever before. Meanwhile, mutual acquaintances tell me Jenny has become a shell of her former self. She gained 30 pounds, stopped exercising and rarely leaves her dark apartment. Her reputation is in tatters after trying to win back a toxic ex who predictably used and dumped her again. Friends whisper that she has become unstable and drinks heavily. But I cannot afford to dwell on Jenny's downfall or the past. Her deceptions have made me warrior, but also stronger and more driven. My family and closest pals have provided a strong support network during this difficult transition. This weekend, my college buddy will introduce me to his wife's vivacious younger sister, Isabella, who recently moved here for graduate school. She's training to climb Mitsurania this summer, which also interests me. I'm hopeful we'll connect over our shared adventurous spirit. While the scars from Jenny's eyes will remain, I know time and new experiences will continue to heal the wounds. My life is finally moving in an exciting new direction full of possibilities. The painful past will soon fade into distant memory as better days ahead unfold.